Damian Wilkins. Son of Gerald Wilkins, the Orlando Magic. First team all state. Sunshine State of Florida. Hey, you go back and look at that 97 again, Baron Davis and Kenny Gregory. I mean, those were two guards. They were standing up for the guards. Where are the guards here tonight? Huh? <laughs> Eddie Satterfield in third place right now. Wilkins, he's that dunk of choice going up. And the first one's a miss. I got the feeling on playgrounds all around America, people are working on this one all of the time. Wilkins, oh, got it. I tell you, Dave, his uncle, Dominique Wilkins, is maybe the most electrifying college player I saw coming out of high school the year that he came out. And there were a lot of quality players that year, but what could he get up? Just like that. Yeah, he's, got, he's got a little bit more weight than his dad and his brother yeah. coming out of high school. Boy, consulting with Ronald McDonald. What kind of happy meal is he going to come up with here? And whatever it is, uh, Ronald McDonald's giving his advice. Let's we'll see if he takes it. The super size of dunk here. Okay, Ronald, give you something else. Scored a 53 on that. Once again, down on the floor, high off the glass, good catch with the right hand. There's so much that is entailed in this type of play. I mean, the ability to recognize when the ball is going to reach the level of the rim, the catch with the hand, the timing, the leap, the strength to get up. All of that comes into play. Damian Wilkins, 48 and a 53, 101 through two. I'm surprised more guys have not done the uh, three-quarter run like we saw earlier. Fender took off from the uh, opposite foul line and just ran the three-quarters court and took off from the near, just below the near foul line and hammered one home. Here's Wilkins. I'm not sure many of them have that much hang time like Fender. when he caught it and threw it down. 59. Good recognition by the judges realizing this is a tougher dunk than it looks. Look where he caught the ball. He was pretty far from the basket. Let's watch Wilkins again. Catch with the right hand. Look at that. Look at that extension. See the crowd likes it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They got a winner there, and Jay Bill is standing by with Wilkins, who came up with 160 points. Thanks, Dave. And Damian, most of the guys that have been doing this have gone over to their teammates to ask for advice. You went over to Ronald McDonald. What did he tell you? <laughs> he told me he should have fed me before I did all this. But I don't think that would have helped. That would have just gave me a lot of credit. I asked Darnell Harvey and Demar Johnson, what should I do? They just said, pull something out of the hat. I was like, y'all pulled everything out already, so I can't do anything. But I tried to do a little bit, not much. Now, most of these guys can beat their dads and their uncles in dunk contests. How about you? Can you beat yours? I don't know. I don't know. That'd be a tough one. I think that'd be a good one to watch for, for a second. But after that, I'd, I'd probably be out of it. Now, for those who don't know your game, what will you bring to NC State next year? Um, hard work, intensity, um, offensive, aggressiveness, de defensive aggressiveness, just a whole lot of leadership. Well, I know Herb Sendek will be happy to have you, and Dave, he's not going to take Ronald McDonald with him to Raleigh. <laughs> well, he's got to perform it now. Damian Wilkins awaiting his turn right now. He's been watching Harvey over there with the judges. <laughs> Damian Wilkins ran up a score of 160 in the first round. Basket. And Wilkins misses his first one. Yeah, Damien's got his sweats on right now. You know, that's got to put a little bit of a drag on you when you're going up. Too far out. Oh, he still got it. I didn't think he had enough. 
Dave, that would have been only for you and me. We could never have reached it. He reached it. What a recovery. Well earned 58 out of 60. Most impressive. See, no lobbying on his part. He just went up and did it. He says, of course. Everybody reaching for nines and tens. And Coleman, boy, saw him go, oh. Uh, 58 on the first. This for you, BTC. We'll try something. See what he's got for his second dunk. He's trying to gather his momentum right now. Here we go again. The bounce. That won't get big numbers, but he got it down. Yeah, another but eights. Damien once again throwing the ball down and simply catching. We've seen that before. Yep. Scoring eight, nine, or ten. Eight's the lowest. Oh, even they had thumbs down on that one. <laughs> Joe Forte. <laughs> tough room. Tough room. Oh, what a crowd. He goes Wilkins back for his third one. And a miss. And make sure he gets points on this one. Good one off the glass. Yeah, Dave, one of the things that's uh, interesting to me, at least for all these guys, they've been playing against each other in summers or camps for the last couple of years. They all know each other really well as we watch Wilkins throw his last dunk down. You know, by the time they get through in college, they probably will have played against each other at least six or eight times. Sure. It's not like these young men are isolated right now. They they have opportunities to go play just about anywhere they want during the summertime. And with the availability of all these summer camps, bringing all these stars together, they have a chance to play against each other and really learn each other before they even get to college. It's so true. We got a tie. Wilkins with that 53 gives him 159, tying Boozer.